Question 13.14 Questioner, can you tell me how the individualized infinity created our galaxy and if the same portion created our planetary system and, if so, how this came about? Answer, I am Ra. We may have misperceived your query. We were under the distortion impression that we had responded to this particular query. Would you restate the query? Question 13.15 Questioner, I am wondering if the planetary system that we are in now was all created at once or if our sun was created first and the planets later? Answer, I am Ra. The process is from the larger, in your illusion, to the smaller. Thus the co-creator, individualizing the galaxy, created energy patterns which then focused in multitudinous focuses of further conscious awareness of intelligent infinity. Thus the solar system of which you experience in habitation is of its own patterns, rhythms, and so-called natural laws which are unique to itself. However, the progression is from the galaxy spiraling energy to the solar spiraling energy, to the planetary spiraling energy, to the experiential circumstances of spiraling energy which begin the first density of awareness of consciousness of planetary entities. Question 13.16 Questioner, could you tell me about this first density of planetary entities? Answer, I am Ra. Each step recapitulates intelligent infinity in its discovery of awareness. In a planetary environment all begins in what you would call chaos, energy undirected and random in its infinity. Slowly, in your terms of understanding, there forms a focus of self-awareness. Thus the logos moves. Light comes to form the darkness, according to the co-creator's patterns and vibratory rhythms, so constructing a certain type of experience. This begins with first density which is the density of consciousness, the mineral and water life. Upon the planet learning from fire, and wind the awareness of being. This is the first density. Question 13.17 Questioner, how does this first density then progress to greater awareness? Answer, I am Ra. The spiraling energy, which is the characteristic of what you call, light, moves in a straight line spiral thus giving spirals an inevitable vector upwards to a more comprehensive beingness with regards to intelligent infinity. Thus, first dimensional beingness strives towards the second density lessons of a type of awareness which includes growth rather than dissolution or random change. Question 13.18 Questioner, could you define what you mean by growth? Answer, I am Ra. Picture, if you will, the difference between first vibrational mineral or water life and the lower second density beings which begin to move about within and upon its being. This movement is the characteristic of second density, the striving towards light and growth. Question 13.19 Questioner, by striving towards light, what do you mean? Answer, I am Ra. A very simplistic example of second density growth striving towards light as that of the leaf striving towards the source of light. Question 13.20 Questioner, is there any physical difference between first and second density? For instance if I could see both a first and second density planet side by side in my present condition, could I see both of them? Would they both be physical to me? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. All of the octave of your densities would be clearly visible were not the fourth through the seventh freely choosing not to be visible. Question 13.21 Questioner, then how does the second density progress to the third? Answer, I am Ra. The second density strives towards the third density which is the density of self-consciousness or self-awareness. The striving takes place through the higher second density forms who are invested by third density beings with an identity to the extent that they become self-aware mind-body complexes, thus becoming mind-body-spirit complexes and entering third density the first density of consciousness of spirit. Question 13.22 Questioner, what is the density level of our planet Earth at this time? Answer, I am Ra. The sphere upon which you dwell is third density in its beingness of mind, body, spirit complexes. It is now in a space-time continuum, fourth density. This is causing a somewhat difficult harvest. Question 13.23 Questioner, how does a third density planet become a fourth density planet? 
Answer, I am Ra. This will be the last full question. The fourth density is, as we have said, as regularized in its approach as the striking of a clock upon the hour. The space-time of your solar system has enabled this planetary sphere to spiral into space-time of a different vibrational configuration. This causes the planetary sphere to be able to be molded by these new distortions. However, the thought forms of your people during this transition period are such that the mind, body, spirit complexes of both individual and societies are scattered throughout the spectrum instead of becoming able to grasp the needle, shall we say, and point the compass in one direction. Thus, the entry into the vibration of love, sometimes called by your people the vibration of understanding, is not effective with your present societal complex. Thus, the harvest shall be such that many will repeat the third density cycle. The energies of your wanderers, your teachers, and your adepts at this time are all bent upon increasing the harvest. However, there are few to harvest. Question 13.24 Questioner, I would like to apologize for sometimes asking inappropriate questions. It's difficult sometimes to ask precisely the right question. I don't wish to go over any ground that we've already covered. I notice that this period is slightly shorter than previous work sessions. Is there a reason for this? Answer, I am Ra. This instrument's vital energy is somewhat low. Question 13.25 Questioner, I am assuming from this that it would be a good idea not to have another session today. Is that correct? Answer, I am Ra. It is well to have a session later if it is acceptable that we monitor this instrument and cease using it when it becomes low in the material which we take from it. We do not wish to deplete this instrument. Question 13.26 Questioner, this is always acceptable in any session. I will ask my final question. Is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or aid in this communication? Answer, I am Ra. It is well. Each is most conscientious. Continue in the same. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai.